can the 2018 Mac Mini make for a decent Windows gaming machine? The results may surprise you. Check out the full video right now. Thanks for watching 9to5Mac. Be sure to thumbs up, click the subscribe button, and then enable notifications with the bell icon so you won't miss any upcoming videos. As I noted in our review of the 2018 Mac Mini, this is the most versatile Mac that Apple currently makes. Why can we say that? Well, mainly because of the I.O., particularly the four Thunderbolt 3 ports, which adds a ton of expandability out of the box. And with a little know-how and a little bit of patience, you can also upgrade the RAM in the 2018 Mac Mini. I went from 8GB to 32GB. And because I want to use this as a gaming machine, of course, I installed Windows 10. Now, as I noted in our review, the 2018 Mac Mini has a horrible integrated GPU. The good news is that you can upgrade the GPU externally. That's what's really exciting about having Thunderbolt 3. So I can use something like this, the Vega 64, and have a graphics card that runs laps around that integrated GPU inside the Mac Mini. All we need is an external graphics chassis like this. This is the Razer Core X. So I'm just gonna slap the Vega 64 inside the Razer Core X external graphics chassis, just like this, connect the power, screw it in, and ladies and gentlemen, we are good to go. So now, just wanna put the cover back on just like that. So here is the Razer Core X with the Vega 64 inside. Here it is next to the 2018 Mac Mini. So these two devices, the 2018 Mac Mini and the Razer Core X with the Vega 64 inside, this makes for a pretty decent gaming machine. All you need to do is connect these two devices together with a Thunderbolt 3 cable like this. So plug it into the Mac Mini, plug it into the Razer Core X, and then you simply connect to an external display using DisplayPort. So we are effectively bypassing that super slow integrated GPU inside the 2018 Mac Mini, and we're using something a whole lot more powerful. Now, because I opted for the base storage configuration, I'm using an external SSD, the one terabyte Samsung T5, and I'm gonna store all my games there. So in Device Manager, you can see Radeon RX Vega, no question marks or any sort of exclamation points next to it, it's working. You can see the AMD software there in the system tray. So we're good to go, folks. Here it is connected to the LG ultra wide 5K 2K display. Make sure you check out the full review of that if you haven't seen it already. Not the most ideal display for gaming, maxes out at 60 hertz, but it's super wide, 5120 by 2160 native resolution. So uh, you can see I'm running Heaven and Valley benchmarks here, over 100 frames per second using ultra settings. And here I am running Cinebench R15, again, over 100 frames per second. Now, if you try to run these benchmarks with the integrated graphics, it would be an absolute laughable situation. Don't even try it. Another thing, I connected an Xbox wireless controller using Bluetooth. Here it is right here. And this is a great way to give you that console-like experience to control your games. So here I am playing Rocket League 5120 by 2160, well over 60 frames per second, silky smooth playback. Very, very impressive. Don't you even think about doing this with the integrated graphics. And then here we go, Madden 2019, 5120 by 2160, silky smooth, high settings, and it provides you with a current gen console-like experience, especially when you have that Xbox controller. The Mac Mini is very capable. So let's backtrack, look at some benchmarks. Here's Unigen Valley in heaven compared with the 15 inch 2018 MacBook Pro the i9 version. Now look at the Mac Mini and you can see some of that may be a hardware difference, but a lot of that has to do with Windows just being a more capable platform when it comes to games. And one last game I wanna show you guys, this is Forza 4 Horizon running at 5120 by 2160, totally playable using either high or ultra settings. It's just super impressive that it's running at this high of a resolution smoothly and totally playable with frame rates in the 50s. 
Again, remember, this is running on a Mac Mini. So ladies and gentlemen, be sure to check out the full post over at 9to5Mac for more details on what we used, how we did it, and be sure to share your thoughts down below in the comment section. If you like to see more coverage of eGPUs, including using this RTX 2080 GPU with the Mac Mini, then leave a thumbs up and let me know. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.